Greetings. My name is Paul, and I am the lead research technician here at the Haddon Linux Research Labs. And I'm also the administrator of the Pop OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the OpenShot open source video editor on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to install OpenShot 3.2 on Pop Pop OS. Okay, so. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to install it from um, their stable PPA. I'm going to add a PPA, I'm going to add a, you know, a source to our sources list so that we can use APT to install it and APT will manage updates and whatnot automatically. Okay? So yeah, we're going to add the PPA and it'll be the stable PPA. There's also a daily PPA which is experimental and unstable and I'm going to skip that and I'm just going to use the stable, the stable version. Okay, here's my um, here's my fetch fetch screen of Pop OS. You can see here I'm in a Pop OS session, twenty two point zero four. Okay, I'm gonna install OpenShot on here, and then we're gonna check our repo list, see if there's a, been a new entry added, and then we're gonna try to launch it from our application folder and from the command line. Okay. So we can go ahead and clear on that, and I'm going to show you that I don't already have OpenShot actually installed already, so you can be sure that the steps I'm taking actually will install it. Okay, so it wouldn't be in these other folders here, and as you can see clearly, there's no OpenShot, and it would be in this um, library home folder, and it would be down here in the piece section, and it would be right in here. So when we're done, we'll come back in here, and we'll look for it right right in here launch it this way and launch it from the command line okay so open shot is not installed okay and let's check one more thing here let's check our um, our sources list go to pop shop hamburger menu there and it'll be system software sources that'll give us our repo man manager okay click on extra sources let's see how many are here one two three four five six so when we're done there'll be a seventh one here and it will be for open shot okay so we're all pretty much staged up here ready for um, our first step to um, to add um, the open shot PPA to our sources list okay so we're gonna do that in the, in the terminal here okay and back with the first step Okay, here's the first step. This actually should be this actually should be sudo here. So put in the extra s there. Okay, once you have all this keyed in, take a look at it. Try to break it down real quick. Uh, we're, we're in a sudo session. Elevated privileges to do what we have to do. And we're going to use apt. We're going to use this apt command here. Add apt repository. You know repo. And we're going to add, this is the argument to that, and we're going to add a PPA, a personal package archive for OpenShot. And once we're done, this is actually going to be, this is going to look a little different once it's actually added to our source. I think it gets expanded out, and it looks more like an actual traditional URL. So let's see what it looks like here. OpenShot.developer slash PPA. Okay, let's see what it looks like when we're actually, when we've actually added it to our sources list. Okay, so once you have that all keyed in there properly, give it the once over, then enter on that. And it's going to go ahead and give us some information here really quick. Tells, tells, uh, tells you what it, what it is and what it's going to install and whatnot. Okay, to me this looks pretty good here. Just telling you what this PPA is going to do. It's going to install OpenShot. And that it's going to be not the unstable but the stable variety the stable version okay so it looks pretty good there okay so uh, press enter to continue or control C to cancel okay I'm going to press enter to continue on that and then it's going to go ahead and give us some more output here as it adds that that PPA to our sources list and we'll try to spot it really quick here it tells you it's going to add 
yeah, it's gonna actually it's gonna actually um, install a deb file um, from their end, so it'll be an actual deb installer. Okay, so let's go down and take a quick little look here. See if we can find it. And here it is right here. There's four four entries. And um, looks like one's for like 32-bit. Others, I don't know off the top of my head exactly, but this one right here is the main one here, AMD64. Okay, so we're all good there. So we've added it to our sources list. Go ahead and clear on that. Let's take another look at our uh, repo manager here, up to the hamburger menu, system software sources, extra sources. Okay, there should be seven here, with one being a new one being open shot, right? So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's a seventh um, entry here, and there you go, open shot developers. See how it kind of expanded out to more of a traditionally recognizable uh, URL. HTTPS in in the, the the whole URL here address okay good so there's a it's gonna pull a deb file in from from this end here from this um from this server okay good okay we've added that now at this point APT doesn't know that it exists so you can't install it with APT yet so we have to run the next command that will actually update the APT index or list or cache or whatever so it becomes aware of that new PPA so it can pull from it. Okay, so the next um, the next command we're gonna run will be a standard APT update. No no upgrade. We're not gonna actually upgrade anything that already existing. We're just gonna update APT so it becomes aware of that PPA. Okay, so the next step will be sudo APT update and then enter on that and it's going to go ahead and process that and it's going to become aware that there's a new UR, a new URL for it to pull from for OpenShot and you can see here it is right here before there was like four of them that were showing up I'm not sure why I only I, I never really understand why initially you might see three or four then you see one later but I, I, I'm sure we have what we need here to, to pull it in okay so that's what we need right here okay good now APT knows about that PPA and it can pull from it. Okay, so we're clear on that, and we'll come back with the, with the, um, the third step to actually install OpenShot. Okay, here's our third step here. Take a quick little look at it, kind of break it down a little bit. Pretty, pretty simple to understand. Uh, again, we're in a pseudo session, and we're going to use APT to install OpenShot Qt and Python 3-OpenShot. Okay, so it's going to install these two packages here. So once we're all staged up there, take a look at it, then enter on that. Let's see if we get prompted. Yeah, we're going to get prompted. Okay. There's a list of, um, I guess these are like dependencies that it's going to install. There's a whole whole boatload. No point trying to figure out what they do. But these are all dependencies, I, I do believe. Then there's some suggested packages, which I'm going to skip for now. And so, yeah, okay, I think this this bottom section kind of ref mirrors what we see on top here so it's going to add these new packages which I do believe would be considered dependencies for OpenShot okay so tells you how much it's going to download how much space it's going to take up 185 megabytes okay I have that covered okay good so do I want to continue Looks like it's going to be actually 88. I didn't count them all up. Looks like it's going to actually install 88 dependencies. Okay, that's what it looks like here. Okay, do I want to continue uh, yes or no? Since Y is capitalized, that means that's the default um, selection. So I don't have to key anything in here. I can just enter on that. And it's going to go ahead and download those dependencies. And it's going to install OpenShot. Um, looks like 10% here. I'm not going to keep the video rolling. I'll come back when it's done. It sh should be a few minutes, but it looks like it's going pretty good to this point here. So back when it's done. Okay, APT downloaded and installed all the um, dependency packages with no errors, and everything looks good. So we're good to this point here. Go ahead and clear on that. And now, let's just try to spot it and launch it. We're going to go to the application folder here, 
that I showed before. And here's open shot here, okay? Wasn't there before. So you can right click on it, pin the dash. I don't have room, so I'm not gonna do it. Pin the dash and then run it from there, or just uh or just a single left click and run it from there. And let's see if it opens up. And we're gonna be looking for um version 3.2. Okay, I'm not gonna get into all the ins and outs of how to use it. So I'm gonna just not really worry about this okay, um do I wanna yeah, you know, I would be okay with something like that. Anyway, you can do all that later. Let's see what happens if I go next. Uh, it's going to give me like a kind of a tour. Okay, so you can take your, the tour on your own later. Okay, this is open shot here. Let's see if it's what I'm expecting. 3.2, right? Okay, about open shot here. Uh, open shot version 3.2. Okay, good. That's the most current version, I do believe. Okay, that's good. And if it's not, um, then when you run your sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade command, it should pull in new versions automatically for you. That's the um, kind of the uh, the advantage of adding a PPA to your sources list, that it takes care of um, version upgrades automatically for you. Okay, so that was good. That's OpenShot 3.2. Okay, we'll X everything out of here, and we'll go back and try to launch it from the command line. It's good to always do from the GUI first, and then uh, that's always plan plan A for me. And launching from the command line is kind of plan B. Uh, you have to keep the terminal window open and the process, and they're kind of tied together. If you kill uh, anything in the, the terminal process, then it'll kill the front end. If you kill the front end, then the terminal process will uh, it, that'll terminate as well. So they kind of need each other. But this is good for like uh, debugging launch and use issues if you're having problems with the GUI way of doing it, launching it and using it. And you come over here and uh, try to get into the command line and try to launch it and use it from here and see what happens. It might give you some output that you can use to debug what's going on for launch and uh, usage uh, issues. Okay, so we're going to see if it's actually on the path variable right now or not. So I'm going to go ahead and use the which command. And I'm going to go ahead and try to see if it finds open shot. So far it's not, okay, okay. It's not actually open shot, Q, uh, which is the keyword. It's Q, it, it dash QT it looks like. Okay. Um, you know, obviously, you'd probably your instincts would probably say, "I'm just going to use open shot and see if that keyword works." Um, would you ever have thought that it would be dash qt? Well, probably not, but it's dash qt. Okay, so let's see where it's actually stored. Okay, so it's stored in this path here. User bin open shot. Okay, let's see if user bin's on the path variable. If it is, then we can just go ahead and launch open shot from the command line. Okay, so we're gonna use the echo command and we're going to echo out the um, the value in the path system variable here and as you can see user bin is one of the pads which which is in the path variable okay so it's actually already on the path according to this user bin and user bin here so open shot should be already be on the path variable so it's on the path essentially okay so we can go ahead and clear on that and let's see let's, use that same keyword open actually open open shot dash QT okay let's see what happens here let's see if it launches open shot okay that looks like it's working we're getting some output there okay good same same as before right 3.2 okay perfect 3.2 okay that was good so that was how to launch it from the GUI and the command line uh, the GUI, GUI, and the command line interface, the CLI. Okay, good. Okay, that was good. And this has to, like I said before, this has to always be running in the background with the front. They're always tied together. So it can kind of clutter, clutter up your workflow a little bit. You always have to keep a, a dedicated terminal window, or at least one tab or whatever, uh, open and dedicated to, to this uh, open shot process here. Okay, so this is kind of like, for me, plan, plan B. Plan A is the GUI, Plan B is the command line. Okay, let's try one more thing here. Let's see if we get some kind of usage information in the terminal here. Let's go open shot dash QT and we'll put an H for help. Let's see what that brings up. Okay, good. We get some usage here. Some um, some usage. I'm not sure if you can use it in the command line or not. I haven't used it. So I'm not really quite sure. I just know, you know, this 
this uh, command here will bring up some some documentation and some options and some information and whatnot so you can better manage OpenShot you get the version here I always try to like to see what the version gives me so let's just try the version real quick here capital V okay 3.20 okay good so use this if you want to get some information I'm not sure if, again if, if you have to if you can use it in the command line or not or this is kind of gives you some information on how to kind of manage and get some information on the program itself but I'm not sure if you can actually use the program you know properly like you would in the GUI in the command line here okay good alright that's good that pretty much covers all the bases I wanted to cover for for OpenShot so we'll leave uh we'll leave the we'll end the video with our fast 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 fetch screen here quick little note about fast fetch it is the it is a uh, since uh, NeoFetch has been abandoned, um, the the newer ways of the replacement ways of, of getting system information in your terminal is fast fetch, screen fetch, to to list a couple. There's others, but fast fetch and screen fetch seem to be kind of top of the list there. Okay. Okay, fast fetch. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so yeah, that was how to install OpenShot, open source video editor 3.2 on Pop! OS Linux 22.04. I am Paul and I am the lead research technician here at the How to Linux Research Labs and I'm also the administrator of the Pop! OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook. At this time I want to ask you to like, comment and, and subscribe to the video and on the video leave your comments there and until my next video happy Linuxing!